Hey there guys, welcome to the next video here on the Duct Tape Stuff channel. This is going to be a tutorial on how to line up the various patterns of duct tape. Starting off this tutorial in Epcot, which is probably my favorite park out of all four Disney World parks. I'm going to start off with a little bit of a Disney trivia fact. Most people don't know that Epcot actually stands for something. It is, it is an acronym and it does stand for Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. So without any further ado, let's get started on the tutorial. Alright, so let's get this tutorial started on lining up various patterns. Now, I'm not going to show you how to line up every single one of the patterns that Duck Brands come out with, but I'm pretty much going to give you the basic tools that you would need to line them up, and then you can pretty much apply those to all of the printed designs that are out there. So let's get started here. Okay, so let's first take a look at what makes a pattern easy to line up. And I've got two patterns here which are really simple to line up, which are the black and white checker as well as the hound's tooth. When you're looking at a pattern, the simplicity of how well it's going to line up and everything depends on how frequently the pattern repeats itself. So let's look at the checker. It actually repeats itself every half inch or so. So you have you know, a white, black, and then you have white, black again, every half inch. And it also repeats itself every half inch going upwards as well, so vertically every half inch and horizontally every half inch. That makes it extremely simple to line up because you have so many repeating patterns. All you have to do is just line them up just like this and we'll put it right about there. And then you just stick it down and you have your completed pattern. So the, another example of this is the hound's tooth. This hound's tooth is a little bit bigger. I'd say every inch and a half it repeats itself, maybe a maybe total inch. And you have both vertically and horizontally as well. So the hound's tooth is really easy to line up as well just because it's more or less the same pattern as a checker. And you can just apply it because every half inch or every inch on the hound's tooth, it repeats itself. It makes it really easy to line up. All right, so now let's take a look at some of the patterns which are fairly hard to line up, and I have two of them here. Now, some patterns actually are just repeat themselves so frequently and are very similar that you don't actually have to line them up to make them look good. One of those is the paint splatter. I don't think I've ever gotten the paint splatter to line up uh, completely because there's a lot of different designs on it. But even if you do have two um, different strips of paint splatter and you stick them together, you'll notice that they line up pretty well even though they are a little bit off because the paint splatter is kind of one of those patterns where you know it's just, it's pretty random. So that should work out pretty well for the paint splatter. The same thing goes for the leopard. I mean the leopard is very similar all the way around. So even you can try to line it up but it really looks fine if you just you know stick it together and it usually it'll blend very well together just like that let's take a look at some of the other ones here real tree camouflage really hard to line up but you can just kind of blend it together um, totally tie-dye that should be fine you know cosmic tie-dye all those are our, our should, should blend together without any trouble digital camera blends very well you don't really don't have to line that one up at all Zebra, you can try to line up. It doesn't always line up exactly, but you can kind of create kind of like a reverse effect sometimes if you, if you, um, so you, see, you can see how it like reverses itself on this side here. You can apply different strips to make them kind of weave into each other, which is pretty cool. We went, look at the spotted leopard. Plaid's a little difficult. It is kind of random on the top, so you can work with that. It does have this line though, which you have to worry about. You do have that green stripe, which can be a little difficult to work with, you know, when you are working on your other designs. Let's take a look at one of the hardest ones, which would be Baroque. Now, you probably won't have to worry about this too much because this is out of print now, but it's a great example of a design that's really hard to line up. These uh, patterns are extremely large, these designs on it. They're probably a good three inches or so. It's a little bit cut off here, but they are a good three inches uh, wide and about an inch and a half high. And they don't actually repeat themselves on the roll, you'll notice like when you actually do tear off the roll, you'll have to line them up every, I think I, I, I have to line up like every foot or so. So you do have to waste a little bit of tape just to line them up, but uh, it does look pretty good when you do line up all the broke tape and they kind of stick it down. So that's definitely one of the hardest ones to line up. But like I said, it is discontinued. So you pr if you haven't, don't have any, you're man, probably not gonna get very many in the future, very much of this tape. So you probably won't have to worry about that too much. Rock type tape lines up really well, even though it's kind of all just, you know, a whole bunch of rock symbols on it. Piece is a little more tricky because it doesn't actually repeat itself. You kind of have to mess with that a little bit. Flames, not really a problem. Hound's tooth, we talked about that. Blue plaid's a little tricky as well. Hello Kitty's really simple, and that's pretty much all of them so far. So that's a video on how to line up all the different tapes that you have. 
So that about does it for this tutorial on how to line up your duct tape. Now this is by no means a comprehensive guide to lining up every single design because always, obviously it'll take a while to show you every single one. But you should pretty much just use this video as a guide, you know, just mess around with your different patterns until you get one that works. Some of them are a little trickier than others. Some of them like the houndstooth and the checker here are extremely simple. Shouldn't have too, much problem, too many problems with that and you should be pretty good. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial. We'll wrap up this video with a few facts about my favorite structure in Epcot, which is the big ball behind me, AKA Spaceship Earth. We'll start off with how high it is. It's actually 180 feet high, and it does weigh a lot. You don't, definitely don't want this thing to fall on, on you or crush you or anything. It weighs over 15 and a half million pounds. 15 and a half million pounds. That is a lot of weight. Because remember, it does have an actual ride inside it too. So and those pylons that hold it up go pretty far into the ground to keep make sure that it stays up there. It also has 11,324 tiles on it. That's a lot of tiles. Definitely an, an ar architectural marvel and it is a really cool thing to look at and just walk around and see. So take care guys. I'll catch you next time on the channel. Hope you liked the video.